What's up? Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. This is episode, I don't even know, of uh, 4 Minutes of Fun with Cade. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the bull market slash bear market slash what the fuck is going on. Why are we not bull? When moon? When all the things, right? I hope you've been enjoying the consistent uploads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. Like this video. Turn that button blue as fuck. It helps me out tremendously and I appreciate it. It only takes a couple seconds of your time. If you're not already following me on Twitter, if you're not, you might just click down below in the description. What the fuck are you doing? Because the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day so that sounds good to you let's get into this video If you're an NFT project and you want to get in contact with me just email me at georgeofficial at gmail.com timer starting now okay so why are we not bull yet what the hell happened I thought Board Ape Yacht Club was gonna save us I thought Ape Coin was gonna save us I thought you know what the fuck? Why, why are we not? Why are we not pumping? You know, and uh, I think 10 days ago I made a video called "Is the Bull Run Back On?" In that video, I said I thought we were still at least a couple weeks away, but after all this news, I was forced to say maybe we are moving a little bit faster than I thought. And here's the truth of it: <sighs> I wish I hadn't made that video for two reasons. The first reason being I didn't fully believe what I said. I still didn't think that was enough, and for the reasons I gave in that video, which was I don't think that was still enough time to have enough liquidity, and I was just like. I, I think this announcement is great for the for the market in general, but I was just like, that doesn't change the fact that there's still not money in this market. Like, there's people don't have enough money yet. We didn't have a crypto run, which means no one got any liquidity, and we just kind of sat around. Like, no, nothing happened. The, this news is great, but nothing happened to the people, you know, like buying shit. You know, like some people have board yacht clubs, some people have mutant yacht clubs, some people have crypto punks, but not enough to drive the whole market to go full bull and fucking degening into projects and projects going up and down. And I think the main reason we haven't gone bull yet is because we don't have a fucking figurehead right now. We had hate beast last time, and then we had invisible friends, and we had literally a double bull market with like a week in between. And that's the reason we had such a crazy, crazy bull run. And so what happens when you have a crazy run up? You know, what well, goes up must come down. That's always the way of the universe. It's the way of markets too. It's no different. And so yeah, for, for one reason, I wish I hadn't said that because I didn't really believe it. I just thought, shit, well, I guess we must be, you know, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I also made a video two weeks ago saying, I can't fucking help you because I don't know what's gonna happen anymore. Every time we have fundamentals that we're like, okay, I think this is how it's gonna happen because it's been happening like this and therefore we should probably be listening to this strategy. The problem is strategies change every two weeks. I had someone drop a comment the other day and they're like, I hate you, all you do is change your mind. I'm like, bro, welcome to NFTs, welcome to crypto. This is the world. Why do you think I upload every single day? If I don't upload every single day, I'm gonna miss something and you're gonna miss something. We're all gonna be sad and we're all gonna be losing money. In this world, everything moves very fast and everything changes at the flip of a coin. Uh, so yeah, I, I kind of wish I hadn't made that video because I didn't really believe it and I still were we're at a point now where we're four days away from my initial observe or my initial prediction which was okay I think we're about two weeks weeks away maybe a little bit longer we're four days away from that prediction either coming true or not uh, and in my opinion I think we're getting close a few days ago I felt my spider senses tingling I thought you know what we might be close you know and uh, I still think we're kind of close you know I, I really think that Maybe we haven't seen a bottom, but I think we're close to the bottom. I don't see prices really dropping lower than we're at right now. I'd be shocked if it did because we're already pretty low. There's some projects that I didn't think would drop as low as they did that did. And there's some projects that I thought would drop lower that didn't. And I was like, okay, maybe they are finding a strong support line. Maybe these, maybe some of these blue chips really do have a, uh, a real support line where we're like, okay, they're not really dropping below here. People have enough liquidity and enough conviction to keep buying up some of these projects. And I thought that was pretty interesting. So anyways, what am I doing right now? What am I doing in this up and down market? This whole, what do we, what should we be doing? I already made most of my bets. I already have most of the NFTs that I thought were going to be uh, popping off in this next bull market. If you want to know what kind of projects I've been looking at, just go back to one of my other formats of fun videos. I kind of talked about what my what my thoughts were for the trends coming up. So I made a lot of those bets already. Now I have some ETH on the side. I have some cash on the side. I have I have money on the side for whatever happens. If we end up going bull, great. I got some Dijon money. If we end up going bear again and more, you know, lower prices, then I got some liquid to buy some another blue chip or something. My play is definitely buying blue chips. I think that's definitely the strategy moving forward. And in my Dead Fellows video, I said that if uh, if I was new, um, I would wish people had told me to buy more blue chips. And I wish people were saying that, but I wish they had told me with more conviction 
you know, it's important to be buying blue chips. You should be buying blue chips. You should not be spending 75% of your portfolio into DGEN projects. That should be a smaller portion. You know, I've gotten it, I've, I've dwindled it down less and less over the every single month. I get my portfolio less and less of DGEN projects. And I do more and more buying into blue chips when they're lower and then flipping them when they get back up. There's only a, less than a handful of projects that I care to hold long term, less than a handful. And for those projects, I just hold one. I just want to hold one. I just want to be in the project. But it's very, very, very few projects that I care enough or I believe in the brand enough or I fuck with the brand enough or the founders or whatever to hold the project long term. Because in reality, if that picture is worth five or six, ten thousand dollars, it's like, bro, that, that's money I could use in the real world. You know, like, yes, buying pictures is cool. But after a certain while, you're like, fam, I need some in real life shit. You know, like I'm, I'm excited for Antony because of that. Only because of that reason, basically. You know, there's a lot of projects that should be delivering better stuff and they're not. It's really fucking annoying. Like, how are you going to charge 0.2 ETH for a mint and then, like, not give them back anything cool? They're like, oh, we're going to airdrop you a fucking whatever. I'm like, you suck. You suck. And you haven't done anything with your brand. What are you doing? You know, so anyways, that's my little rant for today. Are we going bull? Are we going bear? I couldn't tell you, but we're not going to stay bear forever. Um, make your bets. Make sure you invest with conviction. Um, no one can tell you, by the way, if we're going to go bull or bear. Anyone who says they can is lying to you. They're straight up fucking lying to you, and they're probably pumping their own bags and dumping on you. Your own, their own fans. Just be aware of that. You know, you really never know what's going to happen. All you can do is make good investment decisions and be fucking patient, okay? If we have to wait another week, two weeks, whatever, fam, just relax, go enjoy your life. What you can count on is I'll be making videos literally every single day. So that's something you can count on. It's the only thing you can count on really in this world. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this little rant, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. I hope we finish right at four minutes. I'm sure we did. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord now below in the description. If you want to get three free stocks using my Weeble link, go ahead and do that. Get free money, helps me out directly. I appreciate you guys doing that. If you want to see more of me right now, click on one of these boxes on the other side of me. Until next time, continue on your joy age. Continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video.